Good afternoon, this is Robin Bremer, the author of the Kingdom Living series, Kingdom Living Bible Study Guides, and the Pocket Study Guides. And today, I want to go over with you something in Genesis. It says, <clears throat> and God said, let's see, then God blessed them and said to them, he made male and female, and he, and he said to them, be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, subdue it, and have dominion. And then you come down a little further, and he says, I've given you all uh, urban uh, seed and uh, so on. And God saw that everything He made it was very good. And that was evening, and that was evening in the morning was the sixth day. Then the host of heaven was finished, and He ended His work and rested on the seventh day. Then it goes on down to um, if you skip down to ten, He talks about uh, the garden and that there's gold there. And, on the outside of the river, there was gold and oxen, stone, and some other kind of stone. And he commanded the man, and he said, Out of every tree you may freely eat, but out of the tree of the knowledge, the knowledge, knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat, for in the day that you eat of it you shall die. And the Lord, then he uh, made woman, and uh, whatever Adam, Adam, then he brought all the animals to Adam, and Adam named them, and that's in 2.18. And there was nobody found compatible to him, so he, uh, God took the rib out of Adam and made woman. And he, and then it comes down to 24, and it says, Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and they were not ashamed. Okay, so all those things God did, they walked in the garden with God, they um, named all the animals, and they were naked. The whole time they were naked. Okay, but I want to point out to you something. They walked in the cool of the garden with God. They uh, they named all the Adam named all the animals. Adam and Eve were in the garden. We don't know how much time it was, but while they were there, it says that they were naked. Okay, and they were not ashamed. It says, and that is Genesis two twenty five. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. Now the serpent was more cunning than all. Okay, then here Satan comes. And he says to them, oh, uh, you shall not surely die, for God, for God knows that in that day you eat of it, your eyes will be open, your eyes will be open, and you will be like God, knowing, knowing good and evil. They were already created like God. They were created like God, but now um, their eyes would be open and they would know good and evil. And that's when the ten, that's a shadow of the Ten Commandments. And so the woman took it, and then both of their eyes were open, and they knew they were naked. Okay? And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves covering. Now, they were naked in God's presence, in each other's presence. They were naked before. They knew they were naked. I mean, they were naked before, and they were not ashamed before. But now, all of a sudden, they ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and they became ashamed so that's what the law does to you what the law does to you the, the purpose of the law was to show that everybody uh, needed a savior that nobody could keep the law because the law was so impossible to keep it was a tutor and it was impossible to keep and it was to point us toward Jesus to show us that we needed Jesus and now we no longer follow the law we follow the leading of the Holy Spirit which is better than the law and so here, what it's saying is, their eyes will be open, and they will know good and evil. And up, and they were naked, and they were not ashamed. And then all of a sudden, when after they ate the fruit, they realized their eyes were open, and they realized that they were naked, and they were ashamed. And that's what the Ten Commandments does. So you don't try to follow the Ten Commandments because you will never be able to. You will fail. Did you know that the Sabbath, according to the Bible, um, in those terms, was Saturday, not Sunday. So if you're mowing your yard Sunday, you're doing any, uh, and, uh, whatever. If you're mowing your yard Saturday and doing any work on Saturday, in the Old Covenant, you were supposed to be killed. And in the Old Covenant, the Ten Commandments was obey the Sabbath. So right there, y'all messed up. Because <laughs> it's not even Sunday not to work. It's, it's, it's Saturday. So you already messed up. <laughs> so going back to this. And their eyes were open, and they knew that they were naked. They were naked before their eyes were open. And the tree in the garden of the knowledge of good and evil is like the Ten Commandments. It's showing you what's right and what's wrong. And 
when they tried to follow it and couldn't follow it, they had to offer a sacrifice. So Jesus became the last sacrifice. He fulfilled everything. He said not one jot or tittle would fall away until it was fulfilled, not until it was fulfilled. And he said it is finished and it is fulfilled. And he was the last sacrifice. So there's no more sacrifice for sin. Jesus' sacrifice, the last sacrifice, was him for sins, for our lifetime of sins, beginning and our whole lifetime of sins. And so, I just wanted to point out to you, also here uh, in Genesis 3, 3, 3, 8, it says, And they heard the sound of God walking in the cool of the day, Adam and his wife, and hid themselves from the presence of the Lord among the tree. And God said, you know, where are you? And they said, we were afraid because we were naked and hid ourselves. So see, that's what the Ten Commandments does. The Ten Commandments makes you afraid to have a relationship with God because you think you have to meet these standards and when you don't meet these standards when the law was there to point out sin it even causes more sin and the bible says that so by trying to follow the ten commandments and the law you are afraid of god you don't have a relationship with god you see him as this big god up here ready to hit you on the head with a hammer or a pitchfork or something and say ha i caught you sinning and god's not at all like that the new testament god made a covenant with us and the covenant is a good covenant. And, and Jesus fulfilled all of the hard stuff in the old covenant. So, you see, you're going to see your sin. And you're going to feel guilt, shame, and condemnation when you sin. And that's going to drive you further away from God. And that's basically what happened in the garden. The devil is the accuser of the brother. The devil is the one that accuses you of unrighteousness. He says, you're not good enough. Look what you did last night. Look at what you did today. Look at the uh, commandments you disobeyed. It's not about the commandments. It's about a relationship with Jesus Christ. So that's the big thing I want to point out to you. It's not about obeying commandments. It's about following the leading of the Holy Spirit and having faith in that Holy Spirit, having faith in the Holy Spirit. Because without faith in this new covenant, it's possible, impossible to please God because the new covenant is all about the kingdom of God, which God gives us freely without us having to earn it or work for it. It's by grace because he made us righteous by his sacrifice. He made us perfect and holy. It's not something we have to work at or become or do. We are holy and perfect because Jesus did it through his blood. And so I want you to get excited about the kingdom and the kingdom principles. My name is Robin Reamer. .net is my website. Go to it. Check out our library. Subscribe to me on Twitter. It's uh, under Twitter. It's Feed My People Joy, all one word. Uh, Facebook, it's Robin Bremer or Experience the Bible or Kingdom Living with Robin Bremer. Those are my sites. I'll, on YouTube, it's Feed My People Joy and or and Rivens the Clown, a comic ventriloquist. Uh, so follow me. Subscribe to me. Let me know if you're more interested in uh, DVDs, MP3s, audiobooks, or whatever. I have seven books available that talk about the kingdom of God, raising the dead, healing the sick, casting out demons, cleansing the leopards, um, multiplying bread and wine, and just walking God's presence, power, and peace, visiting heaven, angels visiting you, and the supernatural encounters with God. So my name is Robin Bremer. .net is my website, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you.